Alright, here is my wool soakers that I'm going to be washing today. These are two of my newborn wool soakers that I just wanted to get washed and lanolized. And then this is another one that I'm selling that I want to get washed and lanolized. And then this is one that Liam um, wears frequently that is due for a wash. And normally I will wash just two of his wool soakers at a time in the washing machine. And... Over here, well, there's our homemade laundry soap for all of our clothes. But right here is what I'm going to be using in the wash. Um, I haven't quite decided yet if I'm going to be using the Eucalan, which is what I'm familiar with, washing in the washing machine with, or if I'm going to use my CJ's Wool Wash Warm Vanilla Cake. Um, I may save this to do with my hand washing video. And then I also have some CJ's Wool Revitalizer Warm Vanilla Cake. Of course, obviously, because it's my old... <laughs> I'm favorite scent. But with that, let's get to it. All right, here we are ready to wash my wool covers. I prefer washing my wool in the washer. A, because it saves me a little bit of time at the sink. And B, the way that you wring out the wool using your washing machine, I find to be more effective at wringing out the wool than me because it's able to do it without worrying about, you know, squishing too much or wringing too hard. Um, so the dry time is a lot faster, I find, when I machine wash my wool. So, starting out, I set my washer to warm, and you want your water to be tepid. So, what I have to do is stand here with my washer while it fills to make sure that the warm doesn't get to be too warm, and if it does, then I switch it over to cool. And then, I set my little baby over there to soak and oh hi garbage we'll get our wool covers and I have to put these in here beforehand because I have an auto sense um, washing machine so it has to have something in it in order to fill And get it going. And another downfall to the washer that I have is that it, the lid has to be closed for it to fill, which is super inconvenient if you're a cloth diapering mom. Um, and really just in general, because when I use liquid detergent, I have to, you know, rinse it out in the bathroom in our basement because I don't have a sink in our bathroom and I can't just like do it because watch. Ha! Sneaky thing. But I'm going to test the temperature of the water. And today, even though it just fogged up my camera, that's just because it's a little bit cool in our basement, the water temperature is perfect. And with that, I'm going to add two capfuls of my Eucalan this is the lavender scent. I'm going to add two capfuls of this to my wash, um, or my soak, I guess, because you don't ever, ever, ever want agitation to happen when your wool is in your washer. So, I am going to add, like I said, two tablespoons, and I need my hand, my other hand, to do that, and then I will be back. All right, I've added my soap, and as you can hear, the water is running again, and I actually, when I went to reach down and put my soap in, I found that the water was a little bit hot for my liking, so I've switched it to cool now, and it's still on the soak option on my washer. I will let it fill for a little while longer. And then what you want to do when you're machine washing your wool is you add your eucalyptus, fill up the washer, depending on how much eucalyptus you're using, um, how much water you're using will depend on how much eucalyptus you need to put in the wash, and the directions on that are on the bottle for that. Um, but then I let mine sit for a half an hour in the soak cycle. So after that a half hour has happened, we will be back. I forgot to mention, after the water has reached the desired level, I will reach down and give these a good squeeze in my washer. 
Now you may be thinking to yourself, Carrie, you're hand washing them. But I will show you here after the half hour soak, the beauty of being able to use your washing machine um, to do this. So yeah, I just let them soak like this for half an hour and I will be back. And we're back 30 minutes later. These have been soaking in their eucalyptus and water. And we're going to close this up and turn my washer dial all the way over here to spin. You want to bypass the rinse. You don't want, like I said, any agitation to happen in the machine. So what this will do is drain and spin these out. And as soon as that is finished, I will be back. Okay, the spin cycle just finished. And there's my wool. Oh, and a rogue sock. <laughs> and I'm going to take these out. And for those of you that are new to wool, lanolin is the property in wool that causes the um, repelling of the water, or the repelling, I guess, the repelling of the wetness. Um, and that's why when you wash your wool, you'll hear, pe hear people say that you want to wash and lanolize your wool, you know, one every week or every other week or however, however long in between washes you are comfortable with using. I have gone three weeks without washing my, um, Grateful Buns, ah, my Grateful Buns buns wool soakers just because she uses liquid lanolin in hers when you buy them and so they are super like they're almost sticky on the inside from the lanolin but that's why you want to boost your lanolin as you saw in the beginning of this video I have eucalyptus and that is a wool wash with um which is lanolin enriched so really you don't have to take an extra step beyond this and lanolize your wool um because the wash already has it in there same with your CJ's woolly wash, or I guess this is just wool wash. Um, this has lanolin in it. However, just for good measure, I like to flip my covers or my soakers inside out just so I can get to the wet zone and give them a spray before I let them dry with my woolly revitalizer just to give them that extra boost and plus the more things that smell like warm vanilla cake in my house the better and then these go on the drying rack and like I said before I prefer to machine wash because right now these are much much more wrung out than I could get them by doing the fold and press mold that you want to do um, when you hand wash. So these, the dry time on these is going to be far less than what it would be. And I'll actually time this and then next time when I film my hand washing wool, I will time to see how long that wool takes to dry versus this. And I'll let you know in that next video what the time difference is, whether you machine wash or hand wash your wool. So yeah, I will give you a image of these ones I have them all up on the drying rack but that is how I wash my wool here at the Williams house if you have any questions please comment below if you have any other wool related questions beyond washing in the machine let me know below and I will either make a video or answer you back but with that I hope you go get yourself a wool soaker if you don't already have one because really with the option to machine wash like this wool care is super easy in my opinion and well worth your time and effort so thanks, guys.